Hey guys, I hope you're having an awesome week. I had some questions this week about what to drink, when to drink, what kinds of drinks to drink. And so I just wanted to make this video about kind of the fluids that you should be drinking every single day. So for me personally, I um, am not really like a beverage lover. I don't really like alcohol that much. I mean, like I drink alcohol, but it's not like something that I'm like, oh, I, I love the taste of beer. I love the taste of wine. Like, I'm just not, you're just not my jam. So for me, it's like nothing to leave a beer here or leave wine because I don't love the taste of them. Um, like, I will drink them and I can enjoy them, but it's not something that I create. It's not like chocolate. Like, it's not like something that I really want really bad. So I'd say alcohol can get really tricky because it is something that you can consume without paying attention to the amount of calories that you're putting in, um, you know, the amount of sugar, the amount of carbs. It's not really well listed on any of the alcohols, and so you kind of have to look them up. So what I've been drinking most recently is this drink called Truly Spiked and Sparkling, and it's essentially a spiked water. Um, it is kind of like a seltzer water that's got a hint of flavors. It's got like pomegranate, grapefruit, or lime. Those are the flavors. Um, but it's really easy to tell because every single bottle is 100 calories, and every single bottle has, I think it's one gram of sugar and two grams of carbs, or vice versa. But it's not that much, so it's really easy to to count and to pay attention to how much you're having every single day. Um, not every single day, you're not drinking every single day. Gosh, this is like maybe once a week, maybe once a week. But it's easy to pay attention. That said, alcohol can totally ruin your progress. I have done it multiple times in my you know, health and fitness journey where I've taken an entire month completely off of alcohol just to see how my body responds. And my body responds in that it tones up right away. I get inches lost right away. Like my body responds really well to it. So if you've been struggling at all and you maybe you only have like two drinks a week, um, but they, those can add up. So I would challenge you to try a month off depending on what your goals are. If your goal is to maintain where you're at and you're fine having your, you know, two drinks a week, whatever, it's fine. This is a lifestyle program. You guys know that I'm all about the lifestyle. So, um, you know, as long as it's not something that you're having every single day and cause it can totally, it just really can't, it can totally ruin your progress. Um, so that's alcohol. Second is water. You need to make sure that you're drinking a ton of water, like a ton. So this is one of those, well, it's like the, the fake Yeti. Um, mine's from Sam's Club. It came in like a two pack, but I drink probably seven of these a day and I think they're 32 ounces. So it's seven times 32. I don't know. It's a lot. So I'm drinking a ton of water all day long. Um, if you see, like I have a straw, you, if you struggle to drink water, make sure that you add a straw to it because it's so much easier to drink more fluids with a straw. That's one of the ways that I've had a lot of clients get a lot more water in is simply adding a straw. You sip it. It's so much easier to get a lot more water in. So you need to make sure that you're getting in a lot of water. Other than that, all that I drink is Energize, which you guys might not know this, but I drink Energize before, um, before pretty much every workout. Uh, it is from the Beachbody performance line. It's NSF certified, which is huge. So athletes can use it. It is the best of the best Harvard. Um, some Harvard scientists created this based on a lot of research. So, uh, there's essentially a, about the amount of caffeine that's in a cup of coffee in this sucker, but it's from green tea and coffee bean extract. So that's the energize that I use. And then after, not after all workouts, but after my lifting workouts, especially, um, I have this recover beach body performance recover. And this is the chocolate kind. And I know that this is a weird way to describe it, but it tastes just like hot chocolate. However, it's cold, but it's delicious. And I love it. Um, and also the Harvard scientists created this as well. And it is also NSF certified. So this is like the best of the best performance line that you can get. And that's why I drink it. And it makes me feel really good. And it's helped me a lot, especially with like the muscle soreness. They do have a nighttime one that is like, if you struggle with muscle soreness, this nighttime formula that they have is so good. I've taken it a few times, um, probably like five or six times where I've had a super hard workout and I need to be like functioning the next day without being like uh, waddling. Um, especially when you start a new program, like I can't walk usually. So I've done it 
and it makes me feel amazing. However, it tastes terrible. Um, and hopefully, I'm like praying that they are reformulating it so that it tastes better. It's vanilla. The vanilla flavor isn't bad, but it like doesn't break down and like mix well. It's really awful. So I've made myself drink it just so that I don't feel sore. However, it just doesn't taste very good. So that's what I pretty much drink besides water and besides, of course, Shakeology. I switched to the vegan kind because I was having reflux issues, um, and this has been great, actually. I've been very pleasantly surprised that it still has kept me full. Um, the flavor is delicious, and so I wanted to talk to you guys about when to drink your Shakeology because everybody's a little bit different. They're like, uh, is it a protein drink? Do I drink it right after my workout? No, it's not. This is. So it's not a protein drink. I don't want you to think that it is. It's, a, it's literally your multivitamin. It has more vitamins and minerals than any other meal that you're going to have all day long. So think of it as you, whatever meal you need to be most nutritious. So I drink it right before I go into work because I know I'm going to be getting all the nutrients that I need. It gives me energy. It keeps me full for a long amount of time because I know I'm not going to be able to get a break for a while once I go into work. Um, and so that's when I typically drink it on the days that I work. On the days that I work from home, I love having it midday because first thing in the morning, 5.20 in the morning, I'm drinking my Energize and then I'm working out and then I'm having breakfast and then typically like midday, like 11.45, it's my favorite time because it gives me that boost to push me through my afternoon and really um, stay full through the afternoon so where I can just have a small snack before I eat dinner. So that's when I drink it. If you're one who really struggles with eating a healthy dinner or a healthy lunch or a healthy breakfast, whatever meal you struggle with getting your healthiest meal in, I'd highly suggest making that the time of day that you're going to drink your Shakeology, especially in the beginning when you're trying to figure out like if you're used to having super non-nutritious dinners, I would highly suggest just switching to drinking Shakeology at dinner. And you can still make your family like what they normally make if you want to. Um, but you're going to be better off switching your dinner for your Shakeology. That said, you can't just like mix this with water and say, Oh yeah, that's going to be like my whole meal. I make this with a lot of extra stuff. So I've got bananas, peanut butter, flaxseed, almond milk, Greek yogurt. Like I fill mine up. So it is like a hearty, hearty deal. And it's also getting in more containers. If you struggle to get in greens, add some spinach to that sucker and you'll never taste it. So those are pretty much my tips. I don't really drink any like sweet tea. I don't really drink pop. Um, like I don't even remember or soda. I don't remember the last time I had any of that because I just, I just don't drink it. And so that said, if you do and you really struggle to cut back, I would say start cutting back so that you can eventually switch to just water and it's no big deal. I also like the taste of water. If you don't like the taste of water, try infusing it, um, you know, with like cucumber or lemon or, um, some people like infuse it with in the summer with, um, like oranges or watermelon, figure out a way so that this can be something that you get all the time because you really do need your water. It's so, so important and getting yourself really great results. So I went a little bit over on time, but I wanted to just break down for you guys what I'm doing, what's working for me, and hopefully it can help you. So if you have any questions about it, be sure to send me an email um, and we'll just keep going. You guys are doing an awesome job and let's go crush this week. Have a great one. Bye.